Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have just a really wholesome, fun video. This is going to just be me giving Momo my hedgehog. Are you pooping on me? This is just gonna be me giving Momo my hedgehog a bath. I think I got Momo almost two years ago already. So we've had Momo for a while. She's a full grown hedgehog now and she's still just as cute as she was when she was just the size of a small potato. Now she's the size of a large potato. But yeah, hedgehogs are obviously really cute little creatures to have. However, they're really, really messy. They are actually really dirty, disgusting creatures. Maybe that's going overboard. They do get really dirty though, and they actually do pretty much require frequent baths because they get really gross if you don't give them baths on a regular basis. You also have to trim hedgehog's nails, and hedgehog's nails grow kind of quickly. Yep, Momo is pooping all over me. We love that. So basically they walk in their poop and get poop caked under their nails. And they also like to do this really cute thing called anointing, which is when they basically turn around and spit all over their own backs. And sometimes they'll grab things like their food, bugs, just whatever they think smells nice and they'll chew it up and spit it out on their own back. So, really cute quirky trait that hedgehogs have so they need to be bathed once in a while so today we're gonna be giving Momo a bath and I'll be kind of just showing you guys how I bathe Momo and keep her clean and we'll also be giving her a little nail trim her nails don't look too bad but some of them are a little bit long and could probably be trimmed a tiny bit and you also got some shit caked in your nails Momo so we got to take care of that all right so first, we gotta prepare the bath water. Momo, don't worry, I'll put you down, but we just gotta get your bath ready. All right, so first thing I did was I filled up my sink with a little bit of warm water. You obviously don't want it to be too hot, but you also don't want it to be cold because you can't get hedgehogs really cold at all, but you also don't wanna burn them. So you just need it to be the perfect temperature. <laughs> um, it's not that hard. You just gotta feel it and make sure it feels right. You know what I'm saying? You also don't wanna fill it up too high because you don't want the hedgehog's ears to get wet when you're bathing them. You want them to be able to stand and have their head and everything above the water. First thing I'm gonna do is take the strainer that has some rolled oats in it and I'm just gonna soak the oats in the water a little bit. So oats are really good for a hedgehog's skin because it moisturizes their skin and it's just really good for them. So I just know a lot of people add oats to their bath water because hedgehogs are pretty prone to dry skin. So this is just a nice natural way to moisturize them. And then I'm gonna be adding some Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. So this is basically just a really gentle, natural soap, unscented, doesn't have anything bad in it. You want it to be a really gentle soap. I highly recommend this. You literally just need to put like a few little drops in there. And then, you know, that's basically all you need. You don't want to add too much soap. Next, you have to add your hedgehog. So I like to put Momo in butt first, just so they don't get freaked out at all. Yep, you're in water right now. Isn't that unfortunate? I'm so sorry, I don't know how I could do this to you. It actually needs more water in there. So I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's better. So then we're just gonna kind of splash them with water and I'm gonna kind of rub his underside. Just try to wipe him off. He's actually not super dirty right now. He's actually pretty surprisingly clean. You don't have to do anything too serious. You just wanna, again, make sure the water isn't too deep because you don't want them to get water like in their ears or up their nose or anything like that. You want them to be able to be comfortable. It was like, I did not sign up for this. Please help me. Dad, you've betrayed me. Pooped in the bath water, that's really cute. 
Just gonna scoop that out with my bare hand because I'm really disgusting, honestly. Um, can you tell that I have a lot of animals, therefore poop just doesn't faze me. I'm just like, all right, time to grab it. I can't believe I just like am posting that. Um, haha. <laughs> so yeah, I just let Momo sit in the water. I'm probably actually gonna refill it now because he pooped in it. You're disgusting, Momo. I can't believe you would do this to me. Momo, I literally need to fill up the bath water again because you pooped in it. That wasn't very nice. All right, so we're gonna do it again from the top. Then we just have to add the hog. And Momo, please don't poop in the water again. I just like to let them sit in the water a little bit just so they can kind of, you know, not only get clean, but I like to let them sit in the water because it helps soften up the poop that's caked under their nails, which Momo's nails aren't that bad, but there's still a little bit of poop in there. So soaking them just helps soften the poop and they'll also soften up their nails so their nails will be easier to cut when you're going to cut them. Momo, you're scratching me. I know you wanna get out. I know, I'm so sorry that I'm putting you through all of this drama. We're almost over. <laughs> you're so cute. I can't believe I'm betraying her like this. I'm betraying her trust. Momo. All right, I think Momo's had enough. So now that the sink's empty, I'm just gonna fill it up one more time with clean water that isn't doesn't have soap in it to rinse her off. We're just rinsing you off, Momo. You need to be patient. Rinse, 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 rinse. Are you rinsed off? You're just trying to leave. Momo, be careful. You can't just get up and climb out of the sink like that. So next up, we have to dry off our hedgehog. So I like to kind of just make a little hedgehog burrito. <laughs> oh, she's so upset. So I'm just gonna kind of like hold her in the towel and try to dry her off a little bit because you wanna kind of make sure that they're thoroughly dry before you, you know, let them go back in their cage and everything. Are you having a better time now, Momo? Yeah, you're a little bit less angry. Momo says, I'm still really mad at you. I'm gonna give you dinner. And then you get to go, I was gonna say go to bed, but this is actually like your waking up time. It is currently 12, 10 a.m. So it's prime hedgehog hours. Momo's gonna eat her dinner and then she's gonna go run on her wheel. But before we go do that, I have to cut your nails. So to cut Momo's nails, it's kind of a trick, but I use like human nail cutters because they're good for hedgehogs because their nails are so small. And then I'll just quickly cut whatever nails need to be cut. A lot of them really aren't that bad. Gotta get this other paw. Momo, are you being a troublemaker? This is like the worst part of owning a hedgehog. I don't even care that they shit all over themselves. I just hate having to cut their nails because they won't sit still. And I'm always afraid I'm not being gentle enough with her. So it's just really a struggle, honestly. All right guys, Momo's all clean now. I went ahead and cut the rest of her nails off camera because she's just so difficult and yeah. She's sick of me, so I'm gonna go put her away and give her a break, give her food and let her run on her wheel like every happy hedgehog dreams of. I just thought I would share with you guys one of the many joys of <laughs> owning a hedgehog. They're really cute, especially giving them a bath. They're pretty cute other than pooping in the water and then pooping all over the towel you dry them with and then getting poop smeared all over your arms. Other than that, I love hedgehogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are, they're, there's a lot. They're a lot. So but yeah, they're just Momo. You're really not selling yourself. You're cute. You do have that, Momo, you're cute as heck. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching me give Momo a bath. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social media and my vlog channel. Those will be linked down in the description below. And we'll see you in my next video. All right, Momo has really just had it with me. All right, Momo, we're gonna go, okay? All right, goodbye. Goodbye, friends.